grab that okay, metal one there. Big... Wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. What I'm seeing is it's a Christmas decoration. <laughs> yeah, what I'm seeing is a crazy Christmas decoration. Um. So we've got a cock cage on the front here. Okay. So it's just like it'll go like this. There. So yeah, it's um. This okay. is a sounding rod. It is a sounding rod. I can also send electricity through. Oh God! I love get out that um, Zeus. Yes, yes, you know about the Zeus. <laughs> get out the electro stim. Uh, oh yeah, I also have a couple of tens machines. Oh what machines? Tens machines. What's that? So they're like okay, picture a box with a lot of dials and knobs, and like you stick wires in them, and the wires connect to. Yeah, it's like okay, Doctor Ho. That's a tens machine. Oh shit! Yeah, with like the little pads and everything on you. Yeah, that's like oh you could. I'm getting ideas. That's some. So you am could I. do. <laughs> that's a lot of role play could happen. You oh, could, yes. yeah. oh, I love being like the mad scientist. Yeah, yeah, like shit oh, like God. that. Or, oh, or I've like, been a ditzy nurse once. It's like, oh, where does this go? Oops. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> okay, I've been asked to be a ditzy character before. Uh huh. Like, somebody likes to hear that ditzy <laughs> voice. What the fuck do I say? What, what can I do? I want to do it, but I'm just like, what can I? They're like talk, talk in that like baby ditzy voice. I'm like, okay, what do I say though? Like, I'm in. I I'll do it. I'm open to it. But yeah. I'm just like, how do I? I think I need. I I channel like um a stereotypical uh, farmer's daughter kind of attitude or um like a valley girl like someone who's got uh. Uh, either too much privilege or not enough. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's, a, it's like the extreme opposites, I find, is what I kind of try to build a character out of. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. do have to feed off the person's energy. Um, yeah. But it's it's kind of like a oopsie doodle. It's like you're going to do something and something else happens. It's like kind of like a, a Betty I Boop like scenario. That. Okay, I like that. Yeah. yeah. Or like a, a, a Lucy. Yes! And I love Lucy moment. <gasps> Fuck yes! Okay, okay, okay. So, yes. so yeah, like fake a mistake, yeah. Fake a mishap, yeah. Fake a, so it's like an um, oopsie doodle. An oopsie doodle. It's oopsie an oopsie doodle. doodle. <laughs> yes, yes. So like it's like um, uh, I'll be a, a ditzy nurse, or it's like I'm a I'm a new hire, and you're a new hire. I, I, oh, it's I love just like, it. Oh shit! Like he's like, oh, he-, it's like, hello, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> I sw- my nerd is coming out. <laughs> I was just listening to the Adventure Zone on my way here. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Um, what was it? Uh, yeah. So I'll have them, and I'll uh, they'll be like a patient, a long term, a long care patient, and uh, uh, most of the time I stuff something in their mouth so that they can't talk. <laughs> So it's like, uh, oh, it says here that um, you have a drooling problem. So here, let me just shove this cloth or like my socks into. It's like, oh, we have no, so- we have no clo- clean cloths. Oh well, my socks are fine. <laughs> and I'll just shove them in. And then it's like, oh, and then like they're trying to tell me. It's like, oh no, I'm not Mr. Anderson. I'm not Mr. Anderson. Like, it's like I'm not. I I'm love not. This scene. It's like, and it's like, oh, I'm told that you're to get a vasectomy today. <laughs> <laughs> And then they start Why freaking. Well, we're castrating you this morning. That's another one. <laughs> Oopsie doodle. Oopsie doodle. <laughs> oh no. And then oh. it's like at the very end, it's like, oh, you're Mr. Rogers. <laughs> you put the button on the scene. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave now. Gonna Here's some morphine. <laughs> <laughs> and just and just like I, I just leave for a bit. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, back to the but toy this thing. Okay, okay so, so we've kind of, got. It looks like a snakeish. I don't know. It's got like a. Um, hmm. But anyways, we've got we've got the cock ring. So yeah. So this goes around going... the cock. It doesn't necessarily need to go around the balls because this goes along the the top of the shaft, um, and then it kind of dips under. Uh, I'm so used to just describing everything, but now we've got video. Uh, <laughs> no, it's cool. We'll, we'll for both because the audio podcast won't, right. won't have it. Right. Okay. So uh, think of an elephant's trunk. Yes. <laughs> and then um, it's feeding itself water. So it's going back inside of the, the urethra. Inside the penis. So the, in the urethra. Yes. Yeah. Inside that little hole where, you know. The pee hole. The pee hole. Yeah. And so that it's a, it's a, this one's a fairly thick Sure uh, is. Metal rod. Rod. Sounding rod. Yeah, it's it's a you need experience. This is not a beginner's. This is not a beginner toy. Doesn't no. look like it. It is not. And then also And then attached on the bottom of the, the uh D- device. Ring, 
okay, so at the bottom of where it would the cage would be around the cock mm-hmm. uh, is a little loop that goes up. Yeah. And a Down. big ass ball. Yeah. That goes in your butt. Yeah. Because I like butts. Yeah. Butts are great. It's a big, it's a heavy weighted ball. So that what, is heavy. It is heavy. And there, it's, it's uh, not uh, tapered uh, really at all. Nope. It's going to go. It's a ball that's just going to pop is, right in there. It is a ball. This is kind of insane. It is really. <laughs> that's a tough toy. It is. That is a tough, that's tough loving. It is so fun. I can see myself in it, in the ball. <laughs> <laughs> and I can see my reflection. Yeah. In the yeah. anal part of it. In the anal Holy part of shit. it. Now, how, what percentage of people not many. Do you just threaten with it? Mostly? I do. It's mainly it's mainly as a a, a form of threat. Yeah. Um, what I I can do like this sounding rod does come out. Yeah. Um, I can put it on them and then I can use the butt part to go inside and then I go. You're not allowed to drop it. Yeah. It's like so they have to basically do Kegel like exercises. Yeah. yeah. It's like the, the entire time the I'm like if you drop kegels. it you're in trouble and it's it's heavy so it is heavy it takes a lot of concentration and i'm also doing other things to them of so course like, you're trying to make them drop yeah, it yeah i'm trying to make them drop it <laughs> obviously it's more fun that way when they screw up <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like it's like when you're playing D and you roll a critical one. Oh my god yeah you are a geek i was uh i play hero quest do you know that <gasps> no that one? i heard about it that's I heard like it's fun yeah it's like a it's a board game like but it's I, it's there's a dungeon master. Oh my and god! They make up together. a quest and let's, play board games. Yay! Let's play board games. Oh games. <laughs> Hello, Sibian. Yeah, we'll play Sibian board games. <laughs> this, um, okay, describe this. This is a parachute. Yeah, it's it's a parachute. It's <laughs> a piece of leather on top and chains that dangle down. There's three chains that dangle down, and then there's like um there's a an O ring, and then attached to the O ring is just like um. I guess you can, like, do a carabiner or, like, this. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember what this is called right now. It's a clasp. Yeah, those, they're on backpacks and on hiking equipment and lots of things. So, but, okay, so how is this worn? What is this for? Where am I wearing this? Okay, so if you picture. If I'm a penis owner. Oh, man. Um, It's kind of like a cone of shame. Yeah, it's a cone, (laughs) yeah. It's a cone of shame, and this goes around your balls. Around the bowl. Around the bowls. Around the bowls. Yeah, around Great. around the bowls. And um a, you'll notice on the feature. Ins- oh <laughs> man. Feature. This one is extremely mean. You can totally touch them. They're not like stupid sharp. Yeah, it's like vampire gloves. Oh my god, I have um, some. There's exactly what it is. Those spikies. Yeah, they're yeah. vampire gloves, but on a parachute cock. You know, collar. Leather co- collar. Yeah, yeah, it's like a collar. Yeah. yeah. For, for the penis. Okay, so that's put for around. Balls. What's happening with these things? <laughs> so hanging. what you do what is do? you attach. So the spikes go into, are on the bottom, are in the inside. Yeah. And they basically are f- um, against the, the flesh. Yes. So they're against the balls. Yes. And then there's three metal chains that hang down from it. And then they're all attached to the O-ring. And the O-ring is meant as... Um, an area where you can put weights so that, uh, you know, it slowly okay. starts to get heavier and pulls the balls down more and more and more. And then it's just like, like, they're, like owie. You could put anything on there. Oh, yes. <laughs> you oh, could man. clip anything on there. There's been tea kettles. What? Yeah. What do you mean? You I've clipped t- a tea kettle? On yeah. That? What? Yeah. You need a bigger a carabiner, but you know. <laughs> you could. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello. You thought you were safe. Mercy. <laughs> so okay, you can just clip anything on there. Yeah, and yeah. It's um, there are standard weights that you can get. <clears throat> um, I like to get creative. Like I, teapots I, and such. What else can? What else have you put on there? Um, I like doing predicament bondage. So with the O ring, I'll um, loop a, a rope, yep. and I'll attach the rope to their foot, and yep. then I'll tr- like I'll end up tickling them or flogging them or something. And uh, they will so the more stretch. their legs stretch. Yeah, it's yeah. Going and then to pull it's, down on that. Yeah, yeah. So they actually get to control the level of uh, pain, I guess. Yeah. Like an yeah. anal hook situation. <laughs> yes. I yeah. almost brought that in too. <gasps> next time. You got to save some for next time. I, I just I. Oh, so many. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> that made me start for sure. Oh my God. Oh, God okay. My life. Unfortunately, Shane, it looks we're like we're, have to we're out about time. Yeah, we got more toys, but we're going to have to... Uh, you do know what that means, though, right? Are you going to make me do We the... have to go to 100%. Our okay. listeners need to know. Okay. okay. Let me adjust. Adjust? Okay, ready? Okay. okay. Are you? I'm ready. Are you situated? I'm ready. I'm situated on the saddle. We're going to 100. Whoa, that's a mattress. <laughs> Someone's walking by with a mattress. 
can uh, find you and then book you and in your best dreams and worst nightmares <laughs> <laughs> what's your yeah, website see. okay so my website's lady shane like lady l-a-d-y shane s-h-a-y-n-e dot com you can google me too mm-hmm. um i have an instagram i have a twitter uh, i do have a linkedin just i haven't been on it in a long ass time you do though uh clips for sale i do clips for sale yeah. um i do kink bomb but i haven't really done anything you'll find me on um girl next door ball buster as well because mm-hmm. i do a lot of videos with them mm-hmm. and yeah great uh i do i do a lot you do a lot yeah so i'm also just, on your show quite often yeah yeah it's a, the bedpost stage show mm-hmm. doing a demo yeah. or doing a q and a stuff like that just, just, just something all kinds of stuff just everything just things. <laughs> this, okay am i gonna do my outro with the sibian on yep yeah, let's do this great ready okay. and okay Everyone, this has been Lady Shane, and I'm Erin Pym, and this has been the Bed Post Podcast. Check back weekly, everybody, because we release a new episode every single Friday. And if you want to rate and review the podcast on all two iTunes while you're there, I would love it so much. <laughs> if you're in Toronto and want to see Bed Post, the sex and sexuality variety show, I forgot its name. <laughs> Even though I'm reading it. Um, <laughs> our stage show runs at the Social Capital Theater the third Friday of every month at 8. And our new time is the last Tuesday of every month at 9 at the Super Wonder Gallery. Oh, yay! So more information on everything Bedpost, you can go to bedpost.ca. We're also on all types of social media. If you want to email me, it's thebedpostsexshow at gmail.com. And I want to give a big shout out to Eggplant Media and the folks at the Pacific Junction for making our YouTube content possible. Mm. And lastly, the Bedpost podcast features original music by Steph Copeland. I'm I'm lucky I have this written in front of me because I am a mess right now. (laughs) Who can be reached at her website, stephcopelandmusic.com. Up to 100. (laughs) That was going up higher than before. (laughs) It's all in how you sit. (laughs) Thank you, Shane. Oh. (laughs) Oh, God.